In today's video, I'll be showing you how can you easily remove green screen from your footages in Adobe Premiere Pro. This video is sponsored by cdkeyoffers.com where you could buy legit software, games, and license keys. Just go ahead and search for the games or software you're looking for, hit the buy now button, and simply enter the coupon code DUDE20 to save up up to 20% from your purchase. After paying, you will now immediately receive the key on your account and be able to activate your software or license key. So I have my Adobe Premiere Pro loaded up on my screen as you can see with the green screen footage. If we scrub through that particular video, you can see that it's a moving green screen footage. In order for us to remove the green screen on this particular area of the laptop, go ahead and go to the window and make sure that you have the effects checked or enabled right here. Depending on the design and arrangement of your workspace, I have the effects tab loaded up right here. So we're gonna be searching ultra key and we're gonna be dragging and dropping it down to our footage. It won't do anything basically, as we still need to change under the effects control. And if you can see this effects control right here, go back to the window and make sure that you have the effects control window enabled. And under the ultra key effect, click on the key color and then click on this eyedropper tool and then click on the green screen part of your footage and as you can see as we scrub through the footage the green screen part became black so it's currently already transparent as it is ready for us to top it off with a little bit of editing so let's say we want this footage to be put behind that particular screen so i'm just gonna be reducing the scale of this one so just about like that we want this footage to be inside that screen so what we need to do is to first move the green screen footage that we've removed the green screen area part above this particular footage that we've placed and immediately you'll be able to notice that the dog footage that we've just recently put goes already behind the green screen part of the laptop though as you can see it doesn't move along actually with the screen or the movement of our green screen footage in order to fix this it's quite just easy just simply go ahead and return the green screen footage downwards so that we have a clearer view of the stock footage. We could actually apply a crop effect on the effects tab so that we could uh, properly crop the footage just to fit the exact screen space. And then we don't need to have the perfect boundary for that. Next, in order for us to fix the movement of this stock footage of the dog, we need to click on this position under the motion effects and then click on this toggle animation which will add a keyframe onto our effects control and then scrub through the movement and then make sure to adjust along with the screen the footage although i'm not gonna be making this as smooth as possible but if you want this to be perfect you should be adjusting within just a few movements of frames in order for you to capture the perfect movement of the uh, synchronization between the two footages once done, we can now go ahead and move back the green screen footage upwards up the top and layer them down so that you can see the final output right there. So that's just how simple it is to green screen using Adobe Premiere Pro.